All right, so this process starts on your original old Steam Deck. And if you have already installed Decky Loader on your new Steam Deck, uninstall it now before you go any further because you're just gonna run into trouble. So fully uninstall, use the wipe command on the other Steam Deck, the destination Steam Deck, if you have already installed Decky Loader. Okay, now this is your old Steam Deck. So we're gonna put the downloads in one side. We're gonna put home in the other side. You're gonna look for a folder called homebrew. Drag a copy of it over here and then go ahead and zip it up using compress homebrew.zip. Now this is going to compress. It could be big, it could be small. It all depends on which plugins you're using, how you're using them, how much you've used them. It could be a pretty good size file. Mine's 159 megabytes. That's a pretty good size. Now you need to get this file over to your other deck. There's like 20 different ways of doing this. All right, so now we are on the new OLED Steam Deck. You can see the background's a little different. And my homebrew.zip, I went ahead and, and downloaded it from my email into my downloads, right? There's a million ways to do it. This is just how I chose to do it. Right click, select extract, auto subfolder, and you're gonna end up with a homebrew folder with a bunch of folders inside of it. And the other side, go to your home directory. If there is a homebrew folder here already, and you didn't follow the instructions, you must uninstall Decky Loader first, completely wipe it out. If you wipe it out properly, there will be no homebrew folder here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just move this right on over to my home folder. Great, now I can go ahead and install Decky. Obviously you have to install the same version that you had before. If you were on pre-release before, then install pre-release this time. If you were on stable before, install stable this time. Uh, so I was on the latest pre-release, so I'm gonna go ahead and, notice how it says update, it already knows that Decky Loader's there, but I'm gonna go ahead and update to the latest pre-release. Okay, blah, 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 easy peasy. It sets up all of the stuff necessary to make it run, Boop. and that's it. That's all there is to it. Now let's prove it out by going back to gaming mode, and I will show you that Decky Loader is indeed installed I've got some uh, HDR crap going on, so <laughs> I've got all my colors changed and the Elgato does not compensate, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead now and hit the uh, menu button. Oh, that, there's the Decky Loader icon. Hey, look at there. Steam Grid's here, my Steam Mac is here. If I go in, all of my snapshots are here. So yes, that is how you move your old Decky Loader install and move it to your new OLED deck with the colors largely messed up. <laughs> All right, listen, I hope you enjoyed what you were looking at here. Please subscribe, please like this video, and of course, hit that notification bell to be notified of other great videos just like this one. I'm Shane Armonroe, thanks so much for watching, and take care. We'll see you next time.